Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. And that is the day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And it's like one o'clock in the morning and I've been online reading comments from you guys about my latest video, which is where I dyed some Easter eggs using shaving cream. And many of you are telling me that I should not eat these eggs because shaving cream is in fact not non-toxic, maybe? I made a giant, beautiful batch of poison eggs. And they smell weird. It must be the shaving cream. I feel bad about being so wasteful of these chicken embryos. It's a really disturbing day for us all. Have you guys read the news about that guy who poisoned himself with tea? It's like my whole world is just, what is life? What is Earth? I wish that I was never exposed to the news in any form or fashion. I don't want knowledge. But I do want the extractor, which is what we're gonna be testing out today. This is an egg deshelling device, I guess you could say. It only works on hard boiled eggs. It says that it peels eggs 10 times faster and easier. And I'm not sure if this is like a dish made in all countries, but one of my favorite seasonal festive dishes to eat is deviled eggs. I almost said like devil's boiled eggs, but that sounds like even more disturbing than Deviled, deviled eggs? Where does all this devil food come from? There's like devil's food cake, devil eggs. Is this the food that they eat in hell? Hopefully I'll never know. This is what deviled eggs look like, just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Normally I'm always the one de-shelling the eggs for making the devil's eggs, making the devil's eggs. The devil's eggs. I have limited skills in the kitchen, so normally like peeling the food is the only task that I'm given. But sometimes, you know, when you're peeling a hard boiled egg, it gets like all crunchy and cracky and you end up like stabbing yourself with tiny bits of eggshell. It's a lot of fun. This device says that it is using Pure science, which I'm glad to hear that. If we're gonna be using science, it better be pure science. So the magic of pure science is what's going on in this box. Based upon the box, it looks a little bit like a toilet plunger. Blah. If it doesn't work to peel eggs, we can always like go around the neighborhood unclogging toilets or something, I guess. Stop, read. Okay, maybe I should totally rabdar gab. They told me that there was a guide in here for 101 ways to prepare eggs. And I was really jazzed about that reading material. Oh my goodness, it's all in like teeny tiny print in the bottom. 101 ways to prepare an egg. Supposedly what makes this work is this is some kind of like vacuum air chamber. And I guess somewhere magically inside of each hard boiled egg, there's like a tiny little area of air. So I guess somehow using the magic of pure science and the air in the egg and the suction of this device, it just easily rips the eggshell off of the hard boiled egg. It tells you how to boil eggs, just in case you don't know. Step one is to tap the small end of the egg several times on the piercer. This kind of seems like cheating a little bit, right? Because I thought we would just set the egg in here and it's skin would be ripped off, but I guess not. So the piercer is just this tiny pointy piece of plastic right here. So we're just supposed to tap this several times on the piercer. And I'm already seeing it kind of crack just a little bit. The next part, which seems a little bit contradictory, I don't know, it just seems like you're kind of cracking the egg already before you put it in the device, because the next step is to crack the large end of the egg by tapping on a table a couple of times. Make sure you fully crack the large end of the egg and it says, don't be timid. So I'm just gonna start Smashing, ooh, do you hear these cracking noises? <gasps> All right. All right, I feel like we're operating in semi-appalling lighting at this point. My lamps only go one way, okay? Uh, but it, it's kind of like dramatic lighting too, like for dramatic effect. Can we crack an egg? Now they tell you a specific 
way to place your hands on this thing in a crisscross pattern. Crisscross hands over the top of the extractor and give one good fast push. If the egg does not pop out on the first try, make sure you realign the egg in an upright position before trying again. So basically, you're just supposed to be like, Boop, and the egg is supposed to shoot out of the bottom of the extractor. I hope the egg kind of like, boop, like bounces. <sighs> okay, uh, let me see if I can actually lower the camera and you may not be able to see my face, but you will be able to see magical egg action. I hope that you're excited about that. Crisscross, one good. Okay, I think I just smashed the egg because no egg came out. Oh, okay, it said if it didn't happen on the first try to realign it and try again. Okay, crisscross. Oh no, it like got stuck. It's like stuck in here. Is this egg too big? I don't know. Okay, one more, one more time. Here we go, crisscross. Oh, it's like my egg is just, okay. I'm gonna try and crack it a little bit more. I'm like rolling this egg in eyeshadow. That's so disgusting. Ah! <laughs> it's like peeling off tiny bits of shell at a time. Did it? Ah! I'm gonna see if maybe there's like a smaller egg. Like this one looks maybe a little bit smaller than the first one I tried. I don't think that these are like jumbo eggs or anything. It says for best results, use large or extra large eggs only. And these clearly are extra large eggs. So supposedly these should work. I know that there's like jumbo sized eggs and these are not them. Okay, so I'm gonna try one more time with a different egg. I'm gonna tap this a couple times on the top, cracking the bottom of the egg. It says, don't be shy. So maybe I need to do some more cracking. I'm gonna set it totally upright in the extractor, like it says, and let's try. Okay, it's still not shooting out. Oh, did it happen that time? Ah! Oh, I'm trying to pick like the tiniest little baby egg. Maybe this one's small. Okay, rereading the instructions one more time to make sure all right, one last try. One, two, three times you're out. I really want this to work. Come on now. Totally upright, small side. Okay. Nope. Whew. All right, I don't know about you guys. That was like, I feel like that was like a workout. I feel like I'm like sweating now. My sassy bun is just, huh. So extra sassy. I don't know if I'm just incompetent or if this thing does not work at all, but I really got most of the cracking done on these eggs just by manually cracking them against the table. I don't really notice any of the shell is missing. You can look on the top and see that like teeny tiny little fragments, I guess kind of got sucked up. It's supposed to be like a one step process and the eggs are supposed to just like fall out of the bottom um, completely deshelled. I think we need to go back and re-examine the pure science magic. Science magic. That's like such a funny phrase to me. That's like my new favorite phrase. I always kind of thought that like science was like the lack of magic because it's science like book learning and stuff like that. Okay, I don't know, they've got a lot of troubleshooting. They keep telling me to try again in the instructions and I'm just somebody I don't like to give up. So I'm gonna try one last time, even though I already moved the camera back. Are we getting some beautiful egg footage here? Maybe not, okay. One time, crisscross. <laughs> I don't know how I'm just not totally, oh look! Something happened that time, just a little bit. It looks like the shell kind of got removed just a little bit more. Okay, all right, one last time. Oh, that time something happened. Why does this always happen when I have like the worst camera thing ever? It actually kind of ended up working, but also 
not really. This is what happened. The shell did get removed. So here is half the shell like that. And it kind of like exploded the egg in half. So it did shoot out the bottom and this is what it looks like. It still does have quite a bit of shell around the center and it like ripped the egg in half. And all this bottom piece still has a bunch of shell on it. But now I'm gonna move the camera again and retry it. I don't know, maybe I just wasn't piercing the top correctly or something, so... I don't know, they kept telling me to try again, I tried again, and now look what happened. I'm becoming an extractor! Look at this. Ooh, I just wanna like... Oh, why am I playing with this food? Look at that. <gasps> it's the yolk! That's kind of creepy looking. Alright, that can just sit back in there. All right, let me move the camera one more time. We're gonna try it again. Practice makes perfect with the extractor. We are gonna take another egg and I think that this one is pretty small. I'm thinking maybe you're only supposed to pierce the top once or maybe that kind of makes it work better. So I'm gonna try that again. So that's the top and I'm gonna kind of like pierce it all the way through one time and then crack it a bunch of times on the bottom, setting it perfectly straight in the extractor, putting the toilet plunger on top, crisscrossing the hands. All right, can I get a drum roll? Extractor science magic. Okay, uh, nope. Okay, maybe it only is gonna work once. One time, all right, crisscross. One time, all right. Oh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh man. Oh! Yes! Okay, it did something again that time. All right, do you guys see what's happening? It's like the bottom of the shell, or I guess this is the top part because this is the part that just has one hole pierced in the top, but it's leaving half of the shell. It's peeling completely off and the egg is rolling out of the bottom but it still left quite a bit of shell on the egg. If my camera would focus that would just be dandy. That's what we're left with. Kind of like half peeled on, half peeled off. At least it didn't rip the egg in half this time. I'm gonna try and put this half peeled one in here and see if I can get it to finish peeling. Oh, there we go. Oh, too dramatic. Now that just cracked the egg in half. It's not completely exploded open this time. It started to rip the egg in half and I'm not really noticing that it removed any additional shell. Crack in the egg, crack in the egg, okay. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, look, it started to go. <laughs> It's like making a high-pitched squeaking noise. No, my egg is stuck. It's like literally stuck in there. Okay, I guess I just have to keep like, no, speak to me. Okay, there we go. Oh, it just rolled up onto the floor. That's once again, a little bit better. Oh, one of my hairs is also like on the egg. So glad we're not gonna be eating these. It did a little bit better than half of the shell again and expelled the egg onto the floor where it's now covered in all kinds of not delicious matter. I feel like we've been playing around with the extractor now for about 30 minutes, so I feel like we've run the whole gambit of any kind of possible outcome, except for I never did get one egg to fully and completely peel. What's up with that? I will say that this device is pretty fun, even though sometimes I didn't get it to work at all. I still had a lot of fun trying to make it work. Definitely if you've got like family and it's like a holiday time, I can definitely see where this device would be a lot of fun. I'm not sure if I'm 100% ready to say that it's like a good alternative completely to peeling eggs. Maybe it could kind of like get you started, but the fact that every egg that I got to peel even somewhat like started to explode open a little bit, kind
kind of makes me question the functionality just a little bit because, you know, if you're making deviled eggs, you're just supposed to slice the egg neatly in half. It doesn't really work out as well if your egg is all busted up and stuff like that. Maybe there's like other dishes like egg salad and stuff like that. Does egg salad take hard boiled eggs? That tells you how much I know about cooking. I now have eggshell and bits of egg all over the floor, so that'll be a lot of fun to clean up at 1 a.m. Because I love you guys and I don't mind embarrassing myself, I'm gonna try and juggle right now because I'm trying to get the most use out of these eggs that I can possibly do and I've never been able to juggle in my life so I thought right now, before your very eyes, I would try and juggle. How do people do this? I'm gonna add a third one in there. This one is like ripping in half. This is like a danger. Why am I doing this? I know what's gonna happen already. Okay. Oh egg shells cracking and exploding. How do you add the third one? This is juggling is impossible. Okay, I need to watch a YouTube video on how to juggle. Just, oh, I knew it was gonna happen. Look at what we got. I dropped the yolk. That sounds like a fun party game. Who dropped the yolk? I'm gonna try three uncracked eggs. I'm gonna juggle her now, somehow, in my mind. Ooh, listen to that crack. Okay, how do you toss the third one in there? Oh. I was doing it! Did you see it? I feel like for one second, I was really juggling. Okay, heh, <laughs> juggling. My brain can't ever add the third one. Okay, nope, just dropped it. Okay, I'm juggling two. Nope, now I'm juggling one. That's all I can juggle, folks. <sighs> and I just dropped that one. So actually, I can't do anything. Oh, I can hear the sounds of the eggs hatching. Does that seashell thing really work? No, I can't even believe I just asked that out loud. You know when people tell you to like hold the seashell to your ears and you hear the sound of the ocean? I hear the sound of eggs cracking. That's disturbing. If you have a suggestion or an object that you would like for me to test out on next week's Does This Thing Really Work episode, please feel free to comment it down below. I'm always looking for new and interesting devices to test. As always, thank you guys so, so much for being here and for hanging out with me. If you're not already and you'd like to be, don't miss out on any of the fun. Hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Graveyard Girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at Graveyard Girl. Same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!